Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, today we are cooking Ba Chor Mi or minced meat noodles. First, we have to blanch the big pork bones. I have three pieces of this. I have asked the butcher to actually crack them into half. I'm blanching them in cold water and let it boil for another 10 minutes to get rid of all the scum. Sometimes people will ask, why are you not waiting for the water to boil first before you put all this in? Now the reason behind it is, as the water get warmer, the blood will ooze out more. If this is boiling and you put this in, immediately you will seal out everything and when you cook it again, there might be a smelly porky taste in your soup and this is the best way to do it. In the meanwhile, I'm dry toasting 300 grams of anchovies. I've washed this already and I'm just wanting to toast this drier so that it's more flavorful in the soup. 180 degrees for 30 minutes. The pork bones have been boiling in this water for 15 minutes. Most of the scum are all out. Now, we need to do is just remove this from the water and wash this up before we put them into a clean pot of boiling water. In a boiling pot of water, this is 5 liters of water. I will add in the blanched pork bones. Now, the most important part of this dish is the stock. The stock has to be really, really good. And thus, we have to put in quite a fair bit of uh, ingredients inside here. The 300 grams of anchovies, I put them inside a muslin bag. Put everything in. I've also air fried three pieces of uh, salt fish or flounder fish, dried flounder fish or dried salt fish. I'm adding in also 12 grams of rock sugar to increase the sweetness of the soup. Just put the cover back on and let this boil for at least 2 hours. Once it starts boiling, you can turn down the heat and just let me simmer for 2 hours. Now I'll be preparing the ingredients for the wonton. 250 grams of meat. I'm using the uhua roe or striki pork. If you don't like it to be so fatty, you can actually use lean meat. 2 tablespoons of light soya sauce. 1 tablespoon of sesame seed oil. I'm using over here also half a tablespoon of sole fish powder or flounder fish powder. This is ready made. If you want, you can actually grind your own. I'll be adding in white pepper too. Freshly cracked white pepper. Always tastes better than those already cracked for don't know how long. Okay, this will do. Put the cover back on. Okay, and start to So this is the way that I want it to be and we'll be wrapping our wonton very soon Now I'm going to prepare the minced meat for the soup 500 grams of pork I'm using streaky pork also with a little bit of fat Just drop everything in White pepper 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce on top of a cup of water, just plain water will do. And we will mince them. Have a look, this is how I like it to be. We'll put this aside until the soup is ready. In this pan, I have with me over here, one kilogram of lard. Unfortunately, my butcher don't sell in loose form, so they only sell in a kilogram packet. And this is what I have over here. This is optional, but my belief is that for noodles, this is an integral part of it in order for it to taste good. Uh, but if you want it to be a healthy form, you can just omit this. I'm going to fry this into golden brown, and I've added in one teaspoon of salt into here, so you'll have to crisp it up faster. You do not need to add in any oil because the oil will be coming from the lard. As you can see, the lard is almost ready. 10-15 more seconds off from here and we are done. We just need to scoop this up, drain them off the oil, keep half the oil. We are going to fry garlic inside this to make crispy garlic bits also. Now that this is done, I will drain this off oil. I've removed most of the oil, except for some, because I'm going to fry the garlic bits. I'm going to make this into crispy garlic bits so that I can spread this over the noodles. This will be fantastic. 
This is three whole pop of garlic, all chopped up like this. Now garlic get burned pretty easily, so just be very careful and keep stirring them. Turn down the heat a little, you don't want to burn the garlic. Once the garlic has started to brown, you can turn off the fire because the residue heat from the oil will actually brown it further. Now I'm not going to remove the oil from the garlic because this will be very fragrant and it will add another dimension to the noodle soup. Now when you see that it starts to brown, you can turn off the fire and just put them aside. Now we're wrapping the wonton. This is the wonton skin. Take one teaspoon of the fillings. A little bit more like this. Put it right in the center. Put the side of the skin with a little bit of water so that they can actually stick better. Just fold them up into halves like this. Let the edges meet. Press it down. And you're done. Very simple. Just continue with the rest. The soup is ready. I've already taken out the bones, the anchovies as well as the soul fish. Now we're going to prepare to put this in the soup. I'm going to show you how to put this in so that it won't clump together. You need a separate pot. Put in around 2 or 3 tablespoons of this minced meat. Spread them around a little bit. Flatten it. Add a few scoops of the hot soup. Then, we just mix them around so they will spread out like this. Very simple. Now this is actually inspired by this very famous bak chor mee store that sells only the soup version of this at Block 85 Fengshan Market. We love the noodles over there so we are doing this ourselves. After this is done, just pour them back into the soup and repeat with the rest of the mincemeat. I'm just going to taste this soup and add in some seasoning because we haven't added any salt yet into this. Let's go try a little bit. Extremely flavorful. I'm just going to add in two teaspoons of the salt. It should be enough for this. Now it's time to cook the wonton as well as the noodles so that we can start eating our lunch. In a pot of boiling water, I'm going to boil some wonton. I'm just going to boil three of them because I'm cooking for one bowl first. Alright, this will be pretty fast. I'll show you how the wonton actually look like when they are cooked. Now, even though they float up, actually the meat are cooked already. It's just that I want the skin to soften a little bit more. Right? It's almost there. So once you see that it's almost like the color of this, almost see-through or opaque, it's done. Okay? So I'm just going to take this out. I've uh, put some of the garlic oil onto this plate just to coat them so they won't stick together. I'm just going to remove this from here. Just put them here first. And I'm going to boil the noodles. This for one person. Depending on how you like the texture to be, you can boil them slightly longer or al dente a little bit. It's really up to you. I like to do this for approximately like one and a half minutes to two minutes time. Different noodles have different kind of texture. So my advice is for the first bowl itself, it's best if you could. Just take it out, use your finger and feel it. Okay, this is almost done already. So I'm just going to remove this from here. Put this into a bowl. Line up the wonton that you had or you cooked just now by the side of the bowl. I've put in some store-bought meatballs into this soup. They are cooked already. I'm going to assemble them into the bowl of noodles. Just put them by the side. Now all we've got to do is just add in the soup. Stir it down a little bit because we want some of the mincemeat to be inside this bowl also. This is a very easy and very delicious dish. Now I'm just going to add in some garlic oil to flavor up this dish. 
just a teaspoon of this will be fine a little bit of this pork lard to flavor up the soup too some spring onions if you like Chinese parsley you can add them in also a little bit of this if you like your noodles to be spicy you can add in a little bit of chili and this is how we make our this meat noodles or bar chow mee and ladies and gentlemen this is how we cook our bar chow mee or minced meat noodles i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching